Grisham. Alongside me, former world champion Johnny Nelson. Hi, Todd. Hi to everybody back home. Time for our tale of the tape. Joe Lewis, he's six foot two inches tall, 181 pounds, one of the best right hands in the business. And across the ring from him, Rocky Marciano. He's five foot ten inches tall, one of the greatest heavyweights to ever live. Undefeated. Nobody knows who's gonna win. You can have an argument for the winner on both sides, but this is that fight. We'll be talking about this fight for years to come. The Brown Bomber, Joe Lewis. His fight against Matt Schmeling, one of the most important fights in the history of this fine sport. The Rock, Rocky Marciano, 201 pounds of pure terror. but he's not faster. Nice job by him to block that jab. The first time these two met, Marciano knocked Joe Lewis out of the ring in the seventh round. And of course, Joe Lewis never fought again. Round seven had him down. Round eight, the fight was over. And it was it was bittersweet. Marcelo couldn't win for winning. And, and and Lewis, Lewis, you just thought that, that should happen. Now these guys are doing it again. Lewis is a little older. Marcelo has that Suzy Q. That's the shot. It's called the Suzy Q. That's his shot. Will he be able to land it again? He's done it once. He knows how to find it. He knows when to slow down. He's done it once. He'll definitely do it second time. But what will Lewis be able to do? Will he be able to turn back time and pull it out of the bag? We don't know, but this is one of those bags. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than nothing. and there's not a lot separating these two. He still punches back. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. It's no secret who has the advantage after that last round. Here we go, it's round two. Now, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Another scoring shot there. Counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. You'll try to the counter puncher who's got a dummy shot. Make them react from that, then react then. I know it's hard to think that way, but counter puncher, they're watching you, watching your every move, that every twitch. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. from both men in this round. And he just misses with that jab. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. You're not going to see a lot of finesse and skills from this guy. He wants to bury his forehead in your chest and pound away. 
You find the swarmer, you've got to protect everything. The body with the elbows, the head with the forearm. You've got to try and push them off balance because they will just stay in your face. Neither man really defending themselves. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet. Not until your senses have come back. a bit shorter. You don't get paid any extra for overtime. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Missed him with that difficult cut. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Just like a match made in heaven. separate them. It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Catch and shoot. They call it the chin. How strong is your chin? Do you have a glass chin? These are things that can affect the fight. Don't get trigger happy. Because all of a sudden you're going to be guessing yourself out trying to get that shot. And that's when you catch you. Just a moment. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. What would you tell this guy? He's There's the bell to start round five. Safe 
to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations you've just been hurt to try to get out there again. Be smart, be sharp. Don't be a fool, don't get sucked away. Make you fight, your fight. Hold and tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's gonna pop you off. important for these two fighters because it allows them to use their skills throughout the match. It can all come down to who's in better shape. And you've got two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What gets you strong? Willpower. Calm, because if you tired, you get desperate. If you get desperate, you make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you get knocked out. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Good counter right hand again. Misses with the left uppercut. And he misses with that jab. He missed with that jab. He misses with that jab. Cards are going to be all over the place in this one. That left counter punch will score. And a counter left. And I promise you, all three judges here are going to get. This is going to be ending round six. Coming off that fantastic last round, let's see if he can keep his momentum going. determined that they can walk through any punches that their opponent throws, and that's a very confident spot to be in. Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for the front areas, over the eyebrow, the cheekbone. You've just got to try and cut them skin and go for speed. Still waiting for this fighter to show some defensive ability. Exchange here from both men. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? When you've got someone with the hand speed that this fighter possesses, how do you deal with it? Some fighters are just gifted. Gifted with such hand speed, footwork, movement. They are gifted. They are the chosen few. When you've got a fast fighter, they will cut you to ribbons and they know it's a matter of time before either you get desperate or the referee jumps in and saves you. This is a natural gift. Right hand does not connect. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Lands with the right counter. Talk about a one-sided three minutes. We just saw it. Here comes round seven. Can they seal the deal in this round after what we saw just a minute ago? Hard. My motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. And tell the ones, keep doing what you've just been doing because you're going to come down. Through the hook, didn't land. talk about a boxer's chin. Do they have a good chin? Do they have a glass jaw? Those are questions that are being answered here tonight. I've 
seen some fighters with a granite chin. You can hit them with a sledgehammer, they are not going to move. But then I've seen some mad punches with a chin like a foot. As soon as you touch them, they're gone. And this is the danger. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful, though. Neither man really defending himself. Totally impressed. You know what? You've got skill. You've got... Oh, my goodness. I admire these guys. into the chest so we can avoid the pain of those body shots, but come on, that leaves more opportunities for headshots. Swing and a miss. Perfect counter shot. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Left counter was perfectly timed. As bad as boxing judging can be sometimes, there's no... And there's the bell for round eight. That round was complete domination. Let's see if we can shake things up here in this round. Endurance is becoming a factor. You can see this fighter having a hard time getting out of the way of punches, and they're not throwing as many on their own. What could they change? They can change their attitude. They can change their, their nervous system for a certain amount of punches per round. Because otherwise, if they deviate from the game plan, they're going to be shattered once again, and the fight will be over. This fighter is gassed out. Why sit in there and throw punches? They exchange punches. That left uppercut doesn't score. These two are the perfect dance partners. He fails to score with that left hook. and endurance are not an issue for this fighter who continues to be aggressive as the rounds wear on. I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be, having second thoughts in the ring. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. You know that bell was sweet music to his ears. We enter the night. Let's see if they have a plan B after last round. They've had one minute to recover now. They've got to block it. They've got to block it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot. Jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then, put the pressure on. Master stools and ready to go. Let's hope this round is more competitive. Make it up, and this fight continues. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. It's everything we dreamt of. It's everything we got excited and good for. This is what we're here for. Seen all the 
the famous boxing movies, the training scenes, the gym work, that's what it all boils down to. Who's gonna have more endurance? Midway through the fight, if you are tired, this can be the loneliest place in the world. If you cheated, now we're gonna find out. Jab misses. Final 10 seconds here, and this is not getting his round. Down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. He got the knockdown. You know in the corner now. That's saying when you get out there, jump him. Do not give him chance to breathe. Pull him, go and push him down, punch him in the back. Keep letting the shots go because you know he won't shake your leg. Very right. And that's him away from getting stopped. So you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw, it's about how many you land and how hard they are. Sometimes you can get in there with someone so powerful. Thinking, you just gotta be smart than you. You've got to be like a favor to pick pockets. And this exchanges some good men in this room. He knows it has not cleared. Be sharp. The old adage is, no matter how much speed you've got, timing beats speed. Let me explain to you about the fast fight. A fast fight has got hand speed and footwork. Rocky Marciano is supposed to be the one knocking this guy out. Here's they weathered the storm. Now I'm not sure. Not a lot of defense here at all. Some nice exchanges from both men in this win. Nice exchange here from both men. I've seen it happen so many times. Don't take things for granted. Nice counter shot. All right. You hear that old phrase, second win. You've got to fight it somehow. What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they hope to, to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate it and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym, you can do it in a fight. You've got to relax. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. They've got the momentum. They've got the advantage. 
how do they carry that into the next lane? Let's see what they do. On to the 12. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Just missed with that big right hand. He blocks the hook. That's another scoring shot. Puncher, you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw, it's about how many you land and, and how hard they are. This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab, it can be intimidating, just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. He's looking for that KO. Right. You can see that set right here. And right back into the fray. Both men step back for just a moment. Nice punch. Scoring left hand. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no. Are we witnessing one of the all time great scope? What a shot! You see shots like that in the gym. At least for once, this is on TV. Thousands around the world saw that shot. They probably even heard it. I'm Todd Grisham, and there's nothing quite like the Empire Fight Camp, especially at night. Alongside me, Johnny Nelson. It's going to be unbelievable. The fans, everybody around the world, the fighters, this is just one of those things. And now it's time for our tale of the tape. Rocky Marciano, the Brockton Brawler. This heavyweight is anything but standing only 5 foot 10 inches tall, one of the greatest heavyweights to ever live. He'll square off against Tyson Fury. He stands an imposing six foot nine inches tall with a reach of 85 inches. An amazing reach advantage that fighters do not expect to see in this kind of fighter. The jab is unassumingly long and sharp. The Rock, Rocky Marciano, the Brockton brawler himself, one of the greatest fighters of all time. A sparkling record and one of the best to ever do it. Rocky Marciano! 
people dancing underneath the moon. And here's the bell to start round one. Both men step back for just a moment. with the devil under the pale moonlight. That's what these two men are about to go through as they've been talking so much trash on social media, it's time to settle the score. Neither fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches, they're scoring, but they're not gonna hurt anybody. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. We are both football playing football. This is the fight, man. When you get in there, you get into a fight. The fans are paying their money to watch you fight. We're excited here to talk about you fight. The corner men are there because they want to see you fight. We need a fight. Strategy. Those punches are doing nothing. Nice counter shot. You can this round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Well, you know you've got the advantage so far, but how does this match get turned around? I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight. And here's the bell to start round two. Now there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. That's counter score. You're not going to see a lot of finesse and skills from this guy. He wants to bury his forehead in your chest and pound away. You find the swarmer, you've got to protect everything. The body with the elbows, the head with the forearm. You've got to try and push them off balance because they will just stay in your face. He just misses through that jab. He threw the hook, didn't land. Relies a lot on your instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. To beat a counter puncher, you've got to take them out of their pace. Do not wait for them, because if you wait, they'll pepper and pop you all night long. Rush them. Hard. I understand what you're saying, but you've got to be on this. You've got to be on it. You've got to be a pro. You've got to think right. Concentrate. that right jab away. He just misses with that big right hand. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Well, we're entering desperation mode here. Gonna need a knockout. You know, I've been in fights like that. When you think you come up, by ring away. You walk back to the corner like you've just seen the sun. Here we go in round three. Who's gonna land the first big shot? Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's being hurt. He's gonna come up and put the pressure on. He's gonna throw the kitchen sink at you. You've gotta be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. 
Hold him up. Be smart because he's gonna try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs are gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. This fight is all about distance for this man, and you can see he's using that length advantage. Very smart, very sharp. This is the fit young man style that he's got to get inside that long reach. Not many fighters can do that. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? Neither man really defending themselves. Totally impressed. You know what? You got skill. You got. Oh my goodness. I admire these guys. Well, we know what the game plan is going to be for this fighter. He's got to stick and move and avoid the big shots from the bigger man. Man, this is trying to change that game plan. Get him angry. Get him frustrated. Make him deviate away from the play. Grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Pretty dominant round there. Let's see how they respond here in the next round. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to and here we go to the fourth round. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. He misses with that jump. He misses with that jab. As it is in most heavyweight fights, don't blink because one big shot and this thing could be over. Guys that carry so much power, of course they're going to look for that knockout because it makes the night a little bit shorter. You don't get paid any extra for overtime. He carries that left jab away. On the right. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful though. He blocks the hook. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. Halfway through the round, and there's not a lot separating these two. Someone punches that hard, you don't want to trade shots. <laughs> you know the scorecard is going to be all over the place in this one. <laughs> that was almost a 10-8 round. Complete dominance. Dominance, without a doubt, make look so good. And there's the bell for round five. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, think of You've just got to be smarter than them. You've got to be like a little fake in a pickpocket. Then. What is this fighter doing? There's nothing behind these punches. Both men step back for just a moment. Nice 
exchanges from both men in this round. Not a lot of defense here at all. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. This fighter is not interested in throwing one shot at a time. They throw combinations and they throw them non-stop. Having so much speed, what happens to your opponent is you get cut to ribbons, and that's where the referee has to jump in and stop the fight. And you know this is going to happen, so you rush your work. You think, I've got to get him inside close round. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. What we saw in that last round, it's pretty obvious who has the advantage here. As long as they don't get to the bell for round six. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Good counter right hand again. And he fails to score with that left hook. Left counter punch for score. Good left counter that lands. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. Nice counter. Swing and a miss with the left hook. Rocky Marciano was supposed to be the one knocking this guy out. His best defense is not as good as his offense. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. He avoided catastrophe there. What sports sleep on the job? What do you do? You step back, steady yourself, recompose yourself, then boom, back into it. But do not make those mistakes. This is the wrong place to fall asleep. Good counter punch. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. He got out of the way of that right hook. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Without a doubt, he needs to go out there and think, right, you know what, next round. Here we go, it's round seven. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight, not yet, not until the senses have come back. You're a power puncher, you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw, it's about how many you land and how hard they are. This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab, it can be intimidating. It just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. Neither fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches, they're scoring, but they're not gonna hurt anybody. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful though. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's gonna be a hard night tonight for the judges. Nice shot with the left. Punch. Nice exchange 
here from both men. We'd like to see this fighter protect themselves a little better. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. advantage so far, but how does this match get turned around? Round eight, and we're off again. After a really strong round, let's see if they can finish the job. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing, because you've won that hand down. Punching for both these fighters. Nice counter shot with the right hand. Energy and endurance are not an issue for this fighter who continues to be aggressive as the rounds wear on. I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be. Having second thoughts in the ring. Back and forth they go, neither fighter willing to back down. He parries away that left hook. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Just like a match made in heaven. Jason Fury in serious trouble. I don't see how he's going to get out of this. He was in trouble for a while there. Looks like he's starting to get his power back. Disaster averted. Nice job landing with that right hand counter. Try to let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive then. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. The trainer needs to come in. There's the bell start round nine. Coming off a very tough round. Let's see what they do here. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot. Jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. There's no way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. This is when you get in the ring feeling like you're King Kong because you know you've got a chin that is not going to get dented. Good defense blocking that left hook. He misses with that jam. These two are the perfect dance partners. Don't let this fighter's speed fool you. There's some method to the madness. These are precision shots, and they're coming at lightning speed. This can be so frustrating. You're in such a fast fighter. Fast fighter can throw three four-shot combinations before you even let one up. That creates frustration, and that's when it gets hard. When you've got a fast fighter, they will cut you to ribbons, and they know it's a matter of time before either you get desperate or the referee jumps in and saves you. This is a natural gift. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. This round can go either way. Ten seconds to go. after what we saw just a minute ago. Just a 
kicks out of the way of that left hand. There's no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. Todd, we know one of these fighters can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. to this thing. Talk about punches and bunches. That's the mantra for this fighter with that exceptional hand speed. When you have a fighter that's got that great footwork and that great hand speed, it's so hard. It's an uphill battle. Left hook misses. And miss with that jab. There's a counter shot. Ten seconds to go. championship rounds. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get something in. Make you fight. Your fight. Hold and tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. Certainly an aggressive fighter, but that doesn't always mean success. How many times have you seen a fighter chase a superior athlete around the ring and just get picked apart even though they were the one pushing the tempo? Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not give them what they want. Because they want to take you there, they want you to stand there, go to go with them, and have a tear. That's what they do in the gym every single day of the week. What you've got to do is you've got to frustrate them as they set their shots. Get out of the way! And they'll get so angry, so frustrated because they can't work. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. We're on to the 12th. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Call it the chin. How strong is your chin? Do you have a glass chin? These are things that can affect the fight. Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for those pointed areas over the eyebrow, the cheekbone. You've just got to try and cut them, skim them, go for speed. Nice defense there, blocking the hook. Referees pause the action and we'll take a look at that cut. Hey, are you all right? Are you okay? And it looks like this fight will continue. Nice exchanges. 
from both men in this draft. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. It's everything we dreamt of. It's everything we got excited and giddy for. This is what we're here for. Perfect counter shot. Both men step back for just a moment. Left hook just missed. All right, hook misses. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. The judging can go all over the place, and that's kind of what we got here, a split decision victory. It could have gone either way, and it's hard, you know, you're going to have people arguing. The fans for one, the fans for the other say our fight to one. Split decision was fair. Down to the T, down to the wire. These guys put it on the line. Split decision is fair. Number one, there ain't room for two. There ain't no room. I am the one. Top two, but not number two. There ain't no room. Boom. Came in, cleaned up without a broom. There ain't no room. Still here, still not been moved. I got points to prove. There ain't no room. Straight in, more pain, so more gaining. Here I came in, guns blazing. At Raven, you get weighed in. Been training, sick of waiting. Some failing, not plain sailing. Entertaining, check the ratings. Let me out, I don't wanna be cagey. Yeah, I'm ready. Who's next up? Pay attention now, yeah, your best luck. I like to warm up like a few jabs, and then I hit hard like I left hook. My style's unique, not test box. Step to me, you get yourself messed up. Win or lose, still here, still not been moved. I got points to prove. There ain't no room. Only one number one, there ain't room for two. There ain't no room. I am the one. Top two, but not number two. There ain't no room. Boom. Came in, cleaned up without a room. There ain't no room. Still here, still not been moved. I got points to prove. There ain't no room. Only one number one, there ain't room for two. There ain't no room. I am the one. Top two, but not number two. There ain't no room. Boom. Came in, cleaned up without a room. Welcome to the Lighthouse Theater. Get ready, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Todd Grisham. Alongside me is Johnny Nelson. I feel like a fraud. How have I got these ringside seats? It's time for our tale of the tape. He is Rocky Marciano. He's five foot ten inches tall, one of the greatest heavyweights to ever live. Undeep. He is Rocky Marciano. 201 pounds of pure terror. This... Tommy the Duke Morrison, the former W. What a pleasure to be in this unique environment. Every seat has been taken for tonight's match. Todd, I'm so excited. What a night it is. You can hardly hear yourself. Yeah. Like a duff. All the belts, my team. Right, man, get ping. Quattro, ting. No, but ping, we bring man, right, man, get ping. Quattro, ting. No, but ping, we bring man, right.
Rolex and body shots bling. Ding ding, step in the ring, I swing left, right, man said get ping. Couch a ting, no but ping, we bring when right, some body shots bling. Overcut, sling, right up, sling. Couch a ting, send man over the ropes. Man try come for the belt, but I punch you, get ever saw, ended all of your hopes. Now all of your bros are stood on the sideline, head in the hand, shot, choke of the show. Better keep those hands up, swing for the fences. All your power, no Paul, if it's sure. How much do you wanna be the champ? How much do you wanna please the fans? How much do you wanna be the king? And how much do you wanna feed your camp? How much do you wanna see people chant? Swing like you with our thing to lose. It's the ESBC beat them neatly. Titles of ever in the spew. Ding, ding, step in the ring. I swing left, right, man said get ping. Can't try a ting. No, but ping. We bring when right, somebody shot swing. Ding, ding, step in the ring. I swing left, right, man said get ping. Can't try a ting. No, but ping. We bring when right, somebody shot swing. I get from the Seven Hills, City of Steel. Home of the village and brilliant mills. Can't take man for a pudding. Take man to Ingalls. Now we have a kid on his heels. In the ring, it's playing in real. Brave art, man, put a kid on his shield. I daft, man, put a kid on his. Been back from when I was swinging on field. Left up, give him a whiplash. Not gonna work with a sit back. Man wanna show ball over the top, send him over the ropes like Prince Lass. Send that man through ropes like Hopkins. Go mad like Mike when he lost it. I'm Time for the talking to stop and the fighting to start. This should be good. I'm Todd Grisham. Next to me is Johnny Nelson. It's action. It's action night. It's time for our tale of the tape. Here he comes. Deontay Wilder, six foot seven inches tall with that massive 83 inch reach. And across the ring from him, Rocky Marciano, the Brockton brawler. This heavyweight is anything but standing only 5 foot 10 inches tall, one of the greatest heavyweights to ever live. There is no joke about this. Someone is going to get hurt, the other is going to get embarrassed. Let's make sure they measure up well. Deontay Wilder. Rocky Marciano, the Brockton brawler himself. One of the greatest fighters of all time. A sparkling record and one of the best to ever do it. Look at this. These fights are so awesome. Look at them. Well, we're all set. Let's go into the ring for the classy Jimmy Lennon Jr. Situations like this target will either make or break a fighter because the expectation from the thousands of people here, of the millions of people around the world, people like you and I sat here expecting everything and anything can break a man or make a man. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched, skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you, and so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. Misses with that big right hand. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Rocky Marciano. Oh, you this? Rocky Marciano is down. Survive the round here, but just barely. 
What a huge momentum swing that's going to be, considering that round will be tight after the knockdown. To make or break a factor. down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. What a knockdown. You know in the corner now they're saying when you get out there, jump on him. Do not give him a chance to breathe. Pull him, throw him, push him down, punch him in the back. Keep letting the shots go. Because you know they're on shake your leg. They're at a nuts here away from getting stopped. Punch, counter punch. When are we going to see a jab from these two? As you know, he's willing to take three to give one. That's his game plan, and it's worked out pretty well for him so far. How you deal with a slugger? You've got to use brain over brawn. Ball in a match door. Pump, jab, move. Get the mind it. Rocky Marciano is supposed to be the one knocking this guy out. How are they still standing? Through the hook, didn't land. <laughs> Left counter was perfectly timed. That left hand misses. Neither man really defending themselves. Close round with 10 seconds to go. They've got the momentum, they've got the advantage. How do they carry that into the next round? You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to your fighter. And the tournament's got to put a firecracker on that fighter. Get out there and get the job done. Get it started in round three. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. You're not going to see a lot of finesse and skills from this guy. He wants to bury his forehead in your chest and pound away. You are fighting the swarm, man. Be smart. Be sharp. Concentrate what you've got to be confident. Do not dance his dance. Because that swarm, once you do that, you're giving the man a chance that shouldn't have it. You'd like to see more jabs. That counter shot lands. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. from both men in this round. Positives and negatives in the heavyweight division are the same. You can win the fight with one punch, and you can lose the fight in one punch. Because that's all big, because they can punch, because they've got the weight behind them, they may not be connecting, but trust me, when they connect, that's when this fight sets on fire, because someone's going to get hurt, and someone's going to react. Guys that carry so much power, of course they're going to look for that knockout, because it makes the night a little bit shorter. You don't get paid any extra for overtime. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one.
and break here for this spot and the knockdown twice. Well, they might be thinking about stopping it here. Thank you. There's the bell to start round four. Let's see if they can shake off the cobwebs after a disastrous last round. I have no idea what they have left. What, how, how'd you come back from something like that? Not on twice? How, where's your head at? Where's your energy levels at? It tells you you've got nothing left. Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. not interested in throwing one shot at a time. They throw combinations and they throw them non-stop. You gotta ruffle their feathers, Todd. You cannot let them get comfortable, drag them, get them complaining to the referee because once somebody with excellent foot speed and excellent power gets into the rhythm, the fight is over. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? Nice exchange here from both men. Totally impressed. You know what? You got skill. You got. Oh my goodness. I admire these guys. Got out of the way of that right hook. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. Fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches. They're scoring, but they're not going to hurt anybody. Very competitive round with 10 seconds left. At this point, you got to believe he can't win on the scorecards. Going to need a knockout. Wow, it's like two different leagues. Time for the fifth round. They should say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not until your senses have come back. Fighter is sort of the death by a thousand paper cuts approach. He'll hit you a thousand times before you can land one. What you've got to do, Toddy, is anticipation. You've got to wait. You've got to, you've just got to throw caution to the wind and just hope. You're never going to know where the shots are coming from. You've just got to put in a guess. And he just missed with that left jab. Neither fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches. They're scoring, but they're not going to hurt anybody. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. Both men step back for just a moment. can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Kept that right hand again. He fails to score with that left hook. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Judging could be sometimes, there's no doubt who won that one. Yeah. Here's the bell for round six. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. There's a big difference between being the aggressor and the effective aggressor. Which type are we seeing so far? Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not give them what they want. Because they want to get you there, they want you to 
Chins, by the way. Neither man really defending themselves. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap. It's like a match made in heaven. Talk about a fighter having power. Don't just look at the head punches they throw. Look at the body shots. That can be the real difference. That power. That power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. Oh, what a punch. Exchange here from both men. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Round that seemed like eternity for them finally comes to a close. The bell sometimes it can be the sweetest sound. Here's the bell to start round seven. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get suckered in. Make him fight your fight. Hold him. Tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. He just misses with that jab. doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. Todd, we know one of these fighters can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. These two are the perfect dance partners. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. I think they both think they're playing tiddler rings. This is the fight game. When you get in there, you get into the fight. The fans are paying their money to watch you fight. We're sat here to talk about you fight. The corner men are there because they want to see you fight. We need a fight.
So much energy here in the house tonight. We are live at the CompuBox Academy. I'm Todd Grisham. Alongside me is Johnny Nelson. Hi, Todd. Nice to be here with you. Time for our tale of the tape. He is Rocky Marciano. He's five foot ten inches tall, one of the greatest heavyweights to ever live. Undefeated. And across the the rock, Rocky Marciano, the Brockton, the Jip. What a pleasure it is to be. These athletes have been waiting a long time to square off. Here we go. Both men step back for just a moment. Like to see more jabs. <laughs> Not too many seats to be had in this arena as the hype continues to build for this showdown. Situations like this target will either make or break a fighter because the expectation from the fans of the people here, of the millions of people around the world, people like you and I sat here expecting everything and anything can break a man or make a man. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Totally impressed. You know what? You got skill. You got... Oh, my goodness. I admire these guys. Misses with that big right hand. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Wow. That was almost a 10-8 round. Complete dominance. I so see they don't get complacent. If you think this is too easy, it's it... Here's the bell for round two. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Not gonna see a lot of finesse and skills from this guy. He wants to bury his forehead in your chest and pound away. Oh man, you've got swarm in your face. You've got to try and push him off, make him go into the rope. You've got to sometimes fight fire with fire. Put him on the blind side of the referee. Get him out of here. Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. Hook. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. Counter punch is my favorite kind of fighter. A good counter puncher, they're the people that make the history of our sport. They have got great ring IQ. Counter punches are the best. Just misses with that jab. Oh, and he caught. You heard that right, ladies and gentlemen. A knockout victory in one of the biggest surprises of the year. A knockout victory. That's not a knockout victory. That is somebody saying, I'm here. I've arrived. Try that again, it will happen all over again.
I don't know what they thought this was, what? but I come through smoking. Yeah. Smooth criminal like pals just told them, with a the squad get scolded. Right. What with the Lord, not at home and still... As expected, not a ticket left, ladies and gentlemen. We are sold out at the Grand Theater. I'm Todd Grisham. Alongside me is Johnny Nelson. It's going to be unbelievable. The fans, everybody around the world, the fighters. This is just one of those things. And now it's time for our tale of the tape. Muhammad Ali, the greatest of all time. Six foot three inches tall. The best to ever do it. And his... Muhammad Ali, the greatest. The bronze. Welcome inside. And there's the bell for round one. Both men step back for just a moment. accuracy being displayed both of these fighters swinging wildly do you believe what we are seeing nice job landing that left counter punch do you believe this Defense here at all. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. That one will count. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. this slugger as you know he's willing to take three to give one that's his game plan and it's worked out pretty well for him so far they've got to be very wary if you're in with a slugger they will fight all night for fun they'll stay in your face they are naturally tough and strong and aggressive <laughs> despite what the judges scorecards read there are no losers in this one As bad as boxing judging can be. And there's the bell for round two. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Both men step back for just a moment. And this is for that jab. Nice counter shot. He's got to figure out a way to neutralize that length. Very smart, very sharp. This is a fit young man style that he's got to get inside that long reach. Not many fighters can do this. You gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. Counter shot. The counter left. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. and negatives in the heavyweight division are the same. You can win the fight in one punch, and you can lose the fight in one punch. Because that's so big, because they can push, because they've got the weight behind them, they may not be connecting, but trust me, when they connect, that's when this fight sets on fire. Because someone's going to get hurt. Someone's
Ryan's gonna win. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Well, he is glad to have heard that bell. Needs a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there and think, right, you know what? Next round, you're getting it. You're gonna get a kitchen sink. Here we go in round three. Who's gonna land the first big shot? Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is a tough last round. Now you've gotta make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's gonna try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not until your senses have come back. Still swinging with nothing left. That punch landed. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. a power puncher you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw it's about how many you land and how hard they are power that power might be the do or die that power might be the, the equalizer nice exchanges from both men in this round skill for skill tap for tap it's not a match made in heaven they exchange punches Defending themselves. Counter right hand again. Might want to back out of the pocket here. Look how slow these punches are. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. could not have come soon enough. There's the bell to start round four. Not the start that they wanted, but let's see what they can do in this round. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to block it. They've got to block it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot. Jab. Rest on the jab. Do you believe this? The greatest is down on the canvas. Back up on their feet, but I'm not sure why. He just misses with that big right hand. Endurance is becoming a factor. You can see this fighter having a hard time getting out of the way of the punches, and they're not throwing as many on their own. Now this is about desire. This is about character. This is about want. Perfect game plan. The thing is, can anybody figure out what to do to change this? It's a perfect start. Tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Both men step back for just a moment. Gotta let your hands go a little bit. So final 10 seconds of the round, and he is looking really chucked. time after being knocked out. On to the fifth we go. Let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. He's very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not gonna happen. He's got a 
We both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you gotta think him. You just gotta be smarter than him. You gotta be like a little phase of a pickpocket. Sending themselves. He gets out of the way of that left hand. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. So far, it seems like aggression has been the key. This fighter just not slowing down. How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight, fight, and fight. You either give it and back because that's where they're comfortable, or you play calm, play cool. I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be, having second thoughts in the ring. Good defense here. It's a defense first game plan so far. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Lands with the right counter. This fight could not be any closer. I don't know. On to the sixth round. Who's going to be the first one to get rocked? I can't wait to see what happens this round. I, I'm stoked. I'm supposed to know this sport. I have no idea which way it's going to go. What, 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 what are you saying, Doc? There's a counter shot. Beautiful counter punch. They are not going to let this one go to the judges. Men showing exceptional chins, by the way. When we talk about a fighter having power, don't just look at the head punches they throw. Look at the body shots. That can be the real difference. It's the one who draws first blood punch. That's what you've got to look at. If you can't, and you know you're in there with a binder, you've got to be on it. You've got to be confident. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Very close match. It shows the skill. The dis Is this the beginning of the end for Muhammad Ali? And it appears they weathered the storm. How? I'm not sure. Fails to score with that left hook. Both men step back for just a moment. He blocks that jab. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get suckered in. Make him fight. Your fight. Hold him. Tie him up. Just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pick you off. second win. You've got to fight it somehow. Now you've got two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What gets you through? Willpower. Calm, because if you panic, you get desperate. If you get desperate, you make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you get knocked out. We hear that old phrase, second win. You've got to fight it somehow. 
Nice exchanges from... Oh, wow, they just got clipped, and he's in a world of trouble. I don't know if I've ever seen him this hurt before. It's now or never. The clock is ticking. This is his big chance. He can wait longer to get back and get engaged. Jab just got blocked. That counter shot land. Why aren't they defending? This, this round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. All three judges here are going to give that round. There's the bell to start round eight. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. You've seen all the famous boxing movies, the training scenes, the gym work. That's what it all boils down to. Who's going to have more endurance? What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they hope to, to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym. You can do it in the hut. They've got to relax. He misses with that jab. Catch and shoot with the left counter. Good job. And he just missed with that left jab. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than you And he just misses with that jab. power puncher is there's a significant power difference how would you handle that this could be really intimidating todd if you know somebody's got the punch power someone's got the speed someone can take you out with a simple jab deontay wilder rocked right now he's in some serious trouble despite what the judges scorecards read there are no losers in this one nice job landing with that right hand counter What would you tell this guy if he's got to do something? Where's the bell start round nine? Well, they got battered last round. How do they turn their fortunes around? He threw the hook, didn't land. That one lands. shot in the early rounds of a fight you'll see two boxers feel each other out test each other Deontay Wilder just got clipped he needs to just land one big shot but can he do it I thought we were going to see the finish there left counter score These two are the perfect dance partners. They got out of the way that right hook. Nice counter shot with the right hand. He blocks the jab. How 
do they use this fighter's aggression against them? Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not give them what they want. Because they want to get you there, they want you to stand there toe to toe with them and have a tail. That's what they do in the gym every single day of the week. What you've got to do is you've got to frustrate them as they set their shots. Get out of the way and they'll get so angry, so frustrated because they can't work. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. swing that's going to be considering that round will be this is the 10th let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round what a knockdown you know in the corner now they're saying when you get out there jump with him do not give him chance to breathe bully him throw him push him down punch him in the back keep letting the shots go because you know they won't shake your leg they're a, a nasty away from getting stopped Misses with that jab. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. would you get when you know you're fake? The greatest has been dazed. Muhammad Ali in trouble. He's got a wounded animal right in front of him. Can he put him away? Didn't wait too long to get back and get engaged. You'd like to see more jabs. more accuracy. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. At this point, you got to believe he can't win on the scorecards. Going to need a knockout. Wow, it's like two different leagues. to start round 11. It has been all one-way traffic. How do they turn this around? When are we going to see a jab from these two? Talk about punches and bunches. That's the mantra for this fighter with that exceptional hand scoop. When you've got a fast fighter, they will cut you to ribbons, and they know it's a matter of time before either you get desperate or the referee jumps in and saves you. This is a natural gift. Good one. No power in those punches. figure out the combination to this safe. Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? You've got to be courageous when you get in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain there. I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the confidence comes from. Counter left hand there. Nice exchange here from both men. 
You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Nice counter. Oh, he got clipped. He got clipped, and this may be it. Not what he expected from this round. Well, there was no doubt about who won that round. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as a fighter, and a cornerman's got to put a firecracker on that fight. So get up there and get the job done. And there's the bell to start round 12. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. That hook won't score. Neither fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches. They're scoring, but they're not going to hurt anybody. There's a big difference between being the aggressor and the effective aggressor. Which type are we seeing so far? I've seen some aggressive fighters. They can terrorize the life out of you before they've even thrown a shot. The strength they have to speak. Who would have thought Ali would get rattled like this? Trying to answer back. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful, though. A true champion knows how to get out of trouble after they got into trouble, and that's what he's doing here. Green Days now needs to steady the pet. Muhammad Ali in trouble, but surely he'll find a way out. And apparently no rest for the weary. Thought about taking a breath, but instead, they're in there throwing bombs again. He blocks the hook. It's knockout or bust for both of these fighting. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Some might have thought it was a little bit closer, but in the end, the referees are in a unanimous agreement. Unanimous? You know what? Smart, smart, that is. A total change of styles to make sure they got it. At every round in the bag, there was no argument, no discussion, no mistake. It was so obvious. I'm Todd Grisham. The crowd cannot wait to witness this one. We're live at the CompuBox Academy. Next to me is Johnny Nelson. About time to. It's time now for our tale of the tape. Deontay Wilder, six foot seven inches tall with that massive 83 inch reach. And across the ring from him, Muhammad Ali. He stands six foot three inches tall with a 78 inch reach. Talk about hot seats in the house. I am. Here he comes, the bro- uh -huh. What a pleasure to be in this unique in- Many said this fight would never happen, and yet, here it is, and here we go. He misses with that jab. Rest for the weary. I 
nice exchange here from both men. Slugger, as you know, he's willing to take three to give one. That's his game plan, and it's worked out pretty well for him so far. Speed generates power. Time is everything. If you've got speed, you can pop knock anybody out. You've just got to hit them. Let's go. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. This is a high octane battle. Exceptional tens, by the way. <laughs> oh, and he caught him with a stick down. <laughs> you can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. This counter shot with the right hand. After what we saw in that last round, it's pretty obvious who has the advantage here. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they happen, there's going to be absolutely ill. Round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. You couldn't write a script like this. This is like Rocky versus Apollo. Good punch. Good counter left hand there. He just misses with that big right hand. You're not going to see as much footwork as the smaller weight classes in the heavyweight division, but we don't care. We want the heavy fist. I've seen it so many times. One punch changes everything. I've seen guys winning hands down. They decide to show vote and show off them. Blam! It's over. So they've got to stay sharp. One punch changes everything. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. It's not a match made in heaven. Fourth, they go in this round. The momentum continues to shift. Both men step back for just a moment. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Nice job landing that left counter punch. Got the momentum, they got the advantage. How do they carry that into the next round? Dominance without a doubt. Here we go in round three. Who's gonna land the first big shot? Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. We hear that old phrase, second win. You've got to find it somehow. Now you've got two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What gets you through? Willpower. Calm, because if you panic, you get desperate. If you get desperate, you make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you get knocked out. Big left, but doesn't score with it.
counter punching. Nice exchange here from both men. Some nice exchanges from both men in this match. Energy and endurance are not an issue for this fighter who continues to be aggressive as the rounds wear on. I've seen some aggressive fighters. They can terrorize the life out of you before they've even thrown a shot. The strength they have, the speed they have, and that knockout punch, they want to punch through you. They don't want to punch you. They want to punch straight through you. So you've got to be careful. I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be, having second thoughts in the ring. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Counter shot lands. It's no secret who has the advantage after that last round. Let's see what they have in store for us in the next one. You can't leave it up to the judges except to you as a fighter. And the corner man's got to put a fight down there. And they're going to get out there and get the job done. That fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Neither man really defending themselves. Nice punch. Fighter's sort of the death by a thousand paper cuts approach. He'll hit you a thousand times before you can land one. Let me explain to you about a fast fighter, a fast fighter that's got hand speed and footwork. They're relaxed, they're confident, they know they just have to put first, boom! In a split second, they've let four shots go. Their footwork has got them out of the way. And these guys are so relaxed, and that's why they can maintain this all the way through a fight. Shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful though. Big right hand just misses. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. Catch and shoot with the left counter. Good job. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Going to keep his elbows tucked into the chest so he can avoid the pain of those body shots. That leaves more opportunities for head shots. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this game. No, we're entering desperation mode here. Gonna need a knockout. And that'll do it for the time between rounds as we get set to get back in the action. Let's make the bell to start round five. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. It's a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on you. And that's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet. Not until you're sent to the comeback. Yeah. This 
Spider has tested their opponent's power and apparently isn't impressed as they continue to walk through all these power shots. Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for those pointed areas over the eyebrow, the cheekbone. You've just got to try and cut them skimming. Go for speed. No complaints there at all. The crowd agree, I agree. The ref knew exactly what he was doing. So you know what? Great shout. I look forward to fight number two. Pick a side, pick a side, will you live, will you
Grind and sweat the blood of time, my motivation. Ay, I work too hard, too long, and I be in the conversation. My team been up, way up, ain't nothing less than domination. I got the game and say we're locking key in combination. Keep it low, that high sight, don't focus on what's high sight. Sleeping on me till I'm night, night, it's my time and a bright light. Don't have a band, no mind, I keep it pushing, don't ever give them a sound. They will love you when you shine, but they want to talk about you when you down. Motivation, all the hating that they doing, that shit motivation. Staying winning, nothing less, ain't no